Well, a battle over alimony is now back in front of lawmakers for the first time in three years. Reformers are seeking to do away with permanent alimony and create guidelines that would make alimony awards more uniform across our state. A similar idea was first floated and voted on in 2016 by then Governor Rick Scott. But as consumer investigative reporter Lauren Verno tells us, there is new optimism. Elisa Del Rey married an abusive husband. She finally got the courage to get a divorce when he threatened her with a gun. I would have never imagined that I would be paying permanently alimony to my abuser. Del Rey's case is extreme, but it's part of the reason alimony reformers say permanent alimony needs to go in the state of Florida. The main thing that permanent alimony uh, payers want is to see the light at the end of the tunnel, because a lot of them just have a sense of hope, hopelessness. Reformers are asking lawmakers to limit alimony to half the length of a marriage and put in place a standard formula to calculate alimony payments to ensure consistency. The idea has the attention of Representative Bob Rommel. I do want to look at you know whether there's a fair formula for the majority of cases. I know in some divorces there's always extreme circumstances. But family law advocates say cost of living and lifestyles differ across the state. And when you try to put that in a box and create a formula for that, it makes it very difficult to be fair to everyone. No bill has been formally introduced yet, but supporters have retained two of the most powerful lobbying groups in the state capitol. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, the local station. One change both reformers and family law advocates do agree on is that after a person retires, they should be able to stop making those alimony payments.